Hey everybody, here we are back with my Viver Chinese diesel heater. So I've got it pretty much finished as I want it. I've just got to refine it a little bit, but the basic work is done. Everything I've wanted to do to it is done. Looks pretty much normal from the front, but I'll bring you around the back here. And show you guys, turn it a little bit. So on the back, you'll notice it has two Ryobi batteries and they're mounted in a couple of these that I ordered online. Um, so I got two of these and they have an online, inline switch. Um, I thought about three, but two, two is more than enough. And so they're, they're wired. They come down here, they go into the heater, they're hooked up to connectors, come back out, connect to this down here, which is a 24 to 12 volt converter. So it converts the 18 volts down, drops it down to 12 voltage and sends it back out to the uh, heater itself. So yeah, so the wiring goes into here, connects to a bunch of stuff, back out to here, back in here, connects to the heater and everything's on. So you'll see we've got the reason two Ryobis and they're both full, I believe. Where are we? There we go. So yeah, they're both full. Um, the reason I wanted to do two is so I can take one out and swap it while it's running. I don't have to shut it down. Theoretically, I could run it endlessly. Just keep adding fuel to it, either diesel or kerosene, and just keep swapping out the batteries. You have to swap them one at a time. There's switches right here. And when I say I'm going to refine it, I've got some wiring, some nice expandable braided nylon sleeve wiring loom. I'm going to put over all the wires so nothing's exposed here. Uh, just going to clean up the wiring. This is more just to make sure it works. The intake is right here. I'm not blocking it at all. There's plenty of air getting through. This is the combustion intake. That's the intake for the heater that blows into the air that's getting heated. So it's fresh air. No diesel mixes with your, your the combustion air never goes into the part you're heating is what I'm trying to say. The exhaust is over here. So what I'll do is I'll turn this and I'll show you guys what I mean. So let's bring you over to this side. All right, so there's the uh, display and you can see it's off. So I'll turn on one of the batteries right now, the uh, left battery. And there we go. We're on 12 volts. We'll shut that off. And we'll turn on the right battery. Boom, we're good, 12 volts. Okay, let's turn them both on. Still 12 volts, that's what the converter does. So what we're gonna do right now, we'll just say these batteries are both full. Let's just say this one on the right is dying. So what we'll do is we'll just simply shut it off. We still got power, so we'd still be running if the heater was running. I just don't have it running so you guys can hear me. You can see I've removed the right battery. We'll take this one. To bigger one, six amp hour, we'll stick that on. We've still got power. So let's turn on that one now. Still got power. Shut off the left one. Now we can take it out. Replace it with a six amp hour battery. Those are fours I had in there. Fours are plenty. Uh, the six is it's just to, for demonstration purposes. And as you can see, we've still got 12. Now they're both on. That's just the left. That's just the right. And that's off. So we'll take these off of here for now. I want to put the four amp hours back on. I haven't done a test yet to see how long the batteries will last. I don't know. I want to finish this so I could put it outside and test it and not gas myself in the garage. Okay, so let's turn both those on. That's one. Let's make sure they're both working. It's the right one on. We'll turn it off. Turn the left one on. And it's working. So we'll turn them both on. We've got a little bit of diesel in there. Not a whole lot. Um, what else can I do? Maybe I'll take it apart and show you guys the wiring inside, how it is what I did. It's nothing fancy. I just used some connectors.
never liked these clips. Oh, we gotta take the fuel lid off. Pull that off of there. Fuel lid back on. So I'll bring it down here and show you guys a little bit. So there's the connectors I have down there. And they are, so you don't have any more? Yeah, they're basically just these. Got a whole bunch of these things. So you put the wire, one wire in that end, one in that one, snap those connectors down and they're joined. And these things are also linkable, so they'll go together, which is nice. How do they go like that? They are linkable, believe me. There we go. So and you can link as many as you got as you need together. So here I've got two, four, six, eight of them down there which I am gonna clean this up a little bit, but it tucks out of the way. It's not near anything hot down there. The hot end is from about here back and here up kind of thing. There's, this doesn't get hot at all. This is the air intake, so it's cool. The exhaust pipe comes down about here and out the bottom and the hot air comes out over here. So we're good back here. So that's everything for that. Let's just throw the cover back on and fire it up. snap these clips yeah not a big fan okay hold on I'm gonna stop no I'm not gonna stop it you guys can watch there we go So this way, and we'll move the camera back over here where you guys can see it. It's probably going to smoke a bit when I go to start it. All right, let's turn this light off so you guys can see this display a little better. Okay, there we go. You guys can see the display. There's the exhaust. You'll be seeing some steam coming out of there. We'll check the batteries again. Make sure, turn them off one at a time. Make sure we still got full, full battery power from both. Okay, we're on both batteries. We'll start the remote up. It's synchronized, 12 volts, 20 degrees Celsius. We're gonna turn it. Turn it on, hold the power. There we go. We'll turn the heat level down. We wanna start it on one. One of the weird things about this control panel is you guys can see this arrow forward. That's actually down. You'd think that would be higher and that'd be low. It's not. It's the opposite. Don't know why. So she's running. She's blowing cool air. It, it blows it out. You can see. Kind of. So far, so good. degrees Celsius it should start clicking soon or the fan will speed up it takes about three minutes for this thing to fire up three to four minutes and there will be some steam if the exhaust is run properly you won't get this the steam like I do it's blown all the condensation the way I have this exhaust pointed up oh there goes the pump you can hear it oh start there we go no, that probably sounds loud to you guys. I notice it's a lot louder on video than it is in person. Um, if I had this in a van or a, a shed or a garage, that, that fuel pump is negligible. You don't even notice it. Oh, sounds like it fired up. Is it lit already? All right, 
Okay, so that's, that's something new I've learned. If you fire it up on low, you don't get the steam like you do if you fire it up on high. See, I've got it on level, level one, and it goes up to six. Oh yeah, it's definitely lit. I can feel the heat out of the exhaust pipe. So it goes up to sit all the way up to six. One, two, three. You can hear it getting louder. Fuel pump increases in speed. It drops down to 11 volts at these batteries. It did the same with the car battery. So I don't know if my controller, everything works fine. What level are we on now? Right. We don't want to be on one, we want to be on six. Let's just go five. Yeah, that's getting pretty warm already. It's at 38, 40, rapidly climbing. We'll let it get to 100 and shut her down. that going here. Grab my Coke. Not a sponsor. It's getting good airflow. The wires at the back aren't interfering with any of the airflow through whatsoever. The, the whole heater casing is basically a big tube that flows over this manifold, this uh, heat, like a big heat sink that's heated from the inside, dissipates heat out through the fins, like cooling on an engine with fins, a motorcycle engine or something, and the air just blows over it and it takes all the heat and blows it out the front. Surprisingly, this part of the, the heater doesn't get hot. This is plastic. I've said that numerous times, but it just weirds me out that it's plastic and it doesn't get hot. So we're already at 80. Make sure I'm not heating up my phone here. Yeah, now 86. And it's climbing quickly. 88. I said we'll get it to 100 and shut it down. 90. Just to show you guys everything works. It doesn't run out of power. 94. Now I'm guessing from previous experiments Hold on. From previous experiments, that the uh, batteries will drop one bar initially when I shut this off. Once they've stabilized, they go back at pop. It takes roughly, from using my amp meter, my amp clamp on this with the batteries, it draws roughly 8 amps to start with the glow plug. I know it says 10, but I've only ever seen it get to 8 maximum. And running amps at this speed is about 3, 3 to 4 amps. So these batteries should, the way I figure it, last about 10 hours to two of the six amp hour batteries, four amp hour, very similar. But like I said, you can swap them out endlessly, so it's really limitless. Okay, we're at 114, let's shut it off. It's blowing really hot. Okay, so it's off. Now it goes into cool down mode. We'll let it cool down, and then we'll check the bat. We'll shut everything down, let the batteries. It's part of the reason the fan keeps going is to cool the, the heater itself down. If the fan stops blowing, all that heat's still inside and it has nowhere to go but up. And that's where your, your fuel tank sits. There's some electronics in there. It's just you don't want all the heat going up. You want the heat to dissipate. So it'll keep the fan going and cool down until, until it's cooled off. And you guys can see that it says right there, it says cool. Yeah, you guys can't see it. Just looks like a white block for you. It says off and cool up there so yeah this will keep going for about two or three minutes and then that's it while it's doing that let's bring you guys around the back again let's move this a little bit all right so here we are back here let's check the battery strength oops and oh, we're still at four bars on that one Four on that one. Okay, so it didn't even take it down a bar. So there you go. So, I mean, I don't know. I am going to do a test probably tomorrow or if not then this weekend just to see how long I can run on a couple of four amp hour batteries. 
that's it. There's nothing to it. It works perfectly. Near the fan, kicking in some more to cool it down. Engine for my mini bike over there. So yeah, it's still blowing pretty warm out of there. In fact, it should show you what the temperature is in here. Um, oh, it won't while it's off. Okay. Let's show on here. No, it does not. Anyway, so that's it. You guys got any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. The part I use to mount the batteries, it's a GIJ OK battery holder, Ryobi. I mean, it's going to vary by batteries, but because Ryobi's have this stupid arm or leg that comes down, I had to get something that they would fit in like this. So what I ended up buying was it's like an angle iron bracket that has holes for the batteries to fit in. It's meant to hold your store your batteries. So I had to widen the holes a little bit to fit this holder. Not much. Expand about a millimeter out. And then these two just slid in there. Worked perfectly. Uh, another thing I got was a ordered little exhaust angle to go underneath. I don't know if I'm going to need it. The bend I put in is pretty close to, if you'll see in the video I did, I'll post a link to it. I'll show you how I bent my exhaust, and my exhaust is just this, the radius is just that tight, so I don't really need to replace it. I thought this would be a smaller, tighter radius, but it's no big deal. What I'm going to do is mount some angle iron on the bottom that's about an inch or two on either side, stick to give it more stability. It's not tippy as it is. It's not, it's not ready to fall over or anything by any stretch. I'd just rather it be stabler. Um, the idea is this could be used in a tent, uh, an ice fishing tent or camping. You put it anywhere that you can run the exhaust out or you can put it outside and run the heat in with this hose or a larger hose. Okay, so that's it. Shut down already. Yeah, this is already cool. I can hold my hand over there. That should shut down any second now. Let's give it another 30 seconds, see if it shuts down. Uh, what else can I tell you in the meantime? So this is the wiring loom I'm going to put over it. And it's nylon expandable braided sleeve, half inch. So yeah, this is the stuff, you know, that stuff like Chinese finger cuffs. It gets wide enough, put the wire in. And it's black, so it'll look good. It's good for my purposes. Okay, this ain't going to shut off. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later. Have a great day.